what's up? Hi. So this may not make much sense because the last sit down video I filmed was a pinup haul, but I'm coming at you with another pinup haul. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's not just a pinup haul. I also have stuff from Target and Torrid and Disneyland. See, I went to Target and was just thinking like making a drugstore haul because I got some makeup and some nail polish and whatnot and some other random stuff. Then I started thinking, you know, I have a lot of stuff just lying around here that I could make a good haul video. And then I was like, let's do it. Yes, girl. Anyways, let's get started. Maybe whether to start with my Target stuff first or my pinup girl stuff because the Target stuff is the stuff that I originally wanted to film a video with. But the pinup stuff is pinup and it's, I feel like it's more fun just because it's pinup and I love pinup and I'm obsessed with pinup girl and I love the things I bought. So I'm gonna start with pinup first if that's okay. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be okay. You never know with people these days. Like, there are shootings going on, there are people calling people out on the internet. Just saying. Now, I had told myself I wasn't gonna buy anything else from pinup girl until. They had their Cyber Monday and the Black Friday sales because everything's like 30, 35% off. But they had a 4th of July sale and everything was 20% off. So I got three things. And the first thing was something I had wanted and it is the pink and white striped peasant top. And this matches my circus elephant print. I'm not gonna get the circus elephant print Lydia. I already had the Lydia and Rose border and I feel like my boobs, although it doesn't look bad, my boobs are not big enough for that dress. Pink and white striped peasant top, everybody. Now I really wanted on the final sale some Doris tops, however, they didn't have any of the Doris tops in my size. So I did not get any Doris tops, unfortunately. However, I got this bustier top and I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head and I'll put like a comment or like an annotation something right here. But I got this and it's super cute. I wore it as part of my Dumbo Disney bound that I did. I'll post a picture right here. I also wore the circus elephant print skirt, so yeah. It was really cool because the Dapper Dan serenaded me with the elephant, like when I see an elephant fly song, that was yeah, I'm really a fan of this. The only thing I have to say is I wish I would have gotten a size up, but that really wouldn't have worked because my boobs were barely big enough for this. But my back and waist like fit a little snug. The last thing I got is a dress. And this dress I have talked about numerous times. And I don't know if I've actually like put these clips in the videos, I might have edited them out because like I talk about this dress all the freaking time. But it is the Amanda dress, which is more commonly known to me as the Captain America dress. Expect a heck of a good Captain America bound coming sometime soon. I just have to find the perfect accessory which might take some time, but it's gonna happen someday. It came with a red belt, but that's that's all from Pinup Girl, and I felt a little excessive making the haul and then filming another haul, so I wasn't, but then I was making a collective haul, and I'm like, I'm talking about my pinup step, heck yes. However, this isn't going to be a try-on haul. Yeah, maybe the next one. For when I do my Black Friday, Cyber Monday for sure, like that will be a try-on haul. So as promised, the next place that I went was Target, and we all know my struggle with Target, how I want everything and I buy a lot. So, yeah. So I got this floppy hat and it has a black bow and band. Band with a bow. It looks quite lovely on. It feels very vintage to me. I wore it with my Dumbo bound. Ah, look at my goodies. So they were out of my signature false lashes. So I got these, haven't tried them yet have a feeling I'm not going to like them as much as the ones I'm currently wearing but they were out so a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do I do love my Vegas nays these however are by Eyler which is the same brand that has the Vegas nay lashes so I'm thinking that they'll be pretty good I got a toothbrush because I like to get a new toothbrush every six to eight weeks so you know yeah this matches I think this matches my toothpaste. It might not, but 
I've tried. It is the Colgate Floss Tip Bristles. So, Colgate Floss Tip Bristles, everybody. I have this NYX eyeliner pencil, which is not in the box because I used it, which is in my makeup, which I don't feel like getting right now because I'm a lazy person and I'm sitting right here perfectly so that I'm focused and I don't want to like get into an angle and like mess everything up. So, you know, that's, that's that. This is a dual sided eyeliner. One side is felt tip and the other side is a coal retractable. Now, it, I can't tell you how well it works, but it is not bad, but I can tell you for sure it's not as good as my Kat Von D eyeliner in Trooper because that liquid eyeliner is the most precise felt tip I've ever seen in a liner. I don't know. I haven't seen any other really liquid eyeliners that catch my attention, but that one is like the best. So try it. I swear that's one of my makeup staples, and I keep trying to get all these dupes, but I'm spending more money in dupes than I would if I actually got the liner. So it happens. I got two nail polishes that were on clearance, and the first one I actually have on my nails right now. It is Delhi Dance. This is such the perfect shade of pink. This one right here, which I can't tell you very much about because I haven't tried it yet, is called Fun Chips. Last but not least, I got some gum and I wanted to get some fruity gum because at work, this like, it tides me over and makes me not hungry. So that was all my stuff from Target and real quick, because this was in the Target bag, this is not from Target, but it is from Hobby Lobby. I went the same day with my mom and my sister, but I got this hair bow. Actually, I didn't get it. They bought it for me. It reminds me of Marie. And I just, if anybody knows me, they know I love hair bows. I try and wear one like every day when I'm at work because I have to have my hair up and like a hair bow is just like the perfect solution for making my hair look cute and making me feel good. But yeah, it's, this is literally so cute. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Probably gonna mess up my hair even more. I also have stuff from Torrid, which honestly, I don't know why I still have this bag because I went during VidCon because when I was going to Disneyland, I actually didn't, fun fact, pack enough clothes for VidCon in Disneyland. So I had to go out and buy some. But I went there and I got the perfect outfit for a Disney bound for Elsa. And. I want to Disney bound as Elsa because I was seeing the Frozen show for the first time, finally, for the first time in forever. Although like everybody else had seen it like 50 times, I swear. But yes, I got this skirt, which oh you can't see it, but it's really, it's really nice and flowy, and it's got some details at the bottom with lace. And I got so many compliments on this skirt. And I also got this tank top, which I'm not going to show in detail because I got it dirty and I still haven't washed it, which is really embarrassing. Why am I admitting this? I don't know. But yes, it's got like a crisscross top. Really cute. Lots of compliments. Love this shirt. The last place where I have some stuff from is the one, the only, Disneyland. Yeah, I, I got stuff from Disneyland. I've been getting stuff from Disneyland. Um, I'm trying to think of how back I should show you this stuff from because like from Dapper Day on I've gotten some stuff. And you know, I don't think I've shown some stuff in a haul but I'm not sure what I haven't. So I'm just going to say what I've gotten on Dapper Day and on Ford. So Dapper Day, I got two things. I'm not gonna show them. I mean, you've already seen one of the things. It is the Captain America sweatshirt I wore in my fangirling over Captain America video, which you should watch by the way, just saying. So it's that sweatshirt and I got a Captain America pin at Disney California Adventure. Then on VidCon Disney Day, they had something that I had promised myself I was going to get specifically during VidCon. And I don't know why I said it, but it's because I had seen it like a few weeks ago. But I'm like, yeah, VidCon would be perfect to get this. I don't know, but it was this mug, which is a teacup from the teacup ride at Mad Tea Party is what it's called at Disneyland. They actually have four different colors and eventually I want to get all four of them. 
but I thought I'd start off with the purple because I like that one the most and if you guys don't know this the purple teacup goes the fastest or well, one of the purple teacups there's two so I always try you know get the purple teacup so I got the purple teacup for my coffee and tea oh I also got this when I got like right after the Captain America sweatshirt and pin and it is this Disney princess coloring book I've been looking and I've been on the hunt for this for a while finally found it got it it's mine have I colored in it much nope but I plan on doing it the last thing I got and the final thing in this haul was my last trip to Disneyland well actually the second to last trip to Disneyland which was on Friday when I filmed my last video and it is this Neff sweatshirt and it's got Minnie Mouse on it and it's really plain compared to like all my pinup clothes and some clothes but I thought it'd be really cute to wear it with my polka dot print scarf and my pink ears and maybe wear my Disney princess fans you know on a cooler more casual day in the fall because sometimes I like to be casual at Disneyland believe it or not sometimes only sometimes though. So that was it for this mini collective haul. I feel like I've done a lot of hauls with a lot more items than this and I feel like I should stop doing hauls maybe and start doing other videos but I really do like filming hauls. So with that being said I have a question for you and that is what would you classify your style as? For me I know it's really kind of hard because Half of my wardrobe is like pinup stuff and the other half of my wardrobe is just like casual or like high fashion glam or casual boho clothes. Like I really like all different types of styles. Like I can't just have one style of my wardrobe which really messes things up for me to be honest because I can't find, I can't put too many outfits together because I mean boho and pinup don't really go together maybe I'll find a way to make it work but you know what I'm saying like it's kind of hard so I want to know what you guys classify your style as and if you guys have that struggle at all before you go make sure to like this video up and subscribe to my YouTube channel I hope you guys have a lovely day or night or morning whatever you're watching this really and I'll see you guys next time bye